and welcome to this new video from Tranquility. Today we are going to show you a quick demonstration of Wapt Enterprise and all its features. Before starting on the console, I will give you a short presentation of Wapt. To give a brief introduction, Tranquility was created in 2002 and we are located near Nantes in the west of France. Our historical sector of activity is outsourcing services and now we are dedicated to Samba Active Directory integration and we are mainly editor of WAPT. WAPT was created in 2012 in the ID of Denis and Vincent with the aim of installing, configuring, updating and removing the computer of the customers with three goals, to have a simple, flexible and secure solution. And then WAPT quickly involved with new features. And it's now available for Linux, Windows and Mac. To summarize WAPT in few figures, it's 350 customers, 1 million workstations equipped with WAPT on the community discovery and enterprise version. And finally, we have more than 7,000 packages available on our store developed by Tranquility. WAPT Enterprise is certified and qualified by the French National Cybersecurity Agency with these two main security principles, Exchange HTTPS and Operation via Certificates. We are currently in the process of recertifying the new version of WAPT Enterprise. In terms of the main benefits of WAPT, it will allow you to secure your computer block by managing the installation and the software and the Windows update remotely and silently through the console and have a complete maintenance and monitoring in real time thanks to the hardware and software inventory feedback from the WAPT agent. The console is easy to use and you can easily take control of the deployment of your IT assets and save time in your daily management. In few words, thanks to WAPT, it will allow you to install software to update your power to configure all your machines and to uninstall packages. In terms of WAPT operation, it works in pool mode. An agent is installed on each machine, it then connects to the WAPT server in Linux or, or Windows uh, to retrieve updates and installation. Then when the installation are finished, the APT agent sends the information to the console. We have now finished the presentation of WAPT, we will be able to switch to the WAPT console. We are now in the console. The central part is WAPT, it allows to see the general state of the computer park. First of all, on the left hand side we can see our Active Directory, which at Tranquility we use Samba, which is entwined with WAPT. So here we have a list of our groups and user PCs in our Active Directory that have the WAPT agent installed on them. In the middle here, we can see the list of the pieces in our proc and the status. OK, error and needs updates. And as well, we can see a brief description of the machine, IP address, platform, operating system, and more useful information with a right click. Moving into the right hand side here, we are able to see additional details of individual pieces in our pork. For example, if I click on this machine, I am able to see the general information like what software is deployed on the computer, the inventory, the hardware inventory, the software inventory, the Windows update, what uh, KB is installed, pending or discarded. And in this part, I can see current task that are running, uh, for example, is have installation and updates. The package are downloaded in this tab, and for that you can import from internet. With WAPT, we have access to our web repository containing over 7,000 available packages. Here you are able to download or import software of your choice in order to deploy it into machine in your work. For example, if you want 7-zip, you can import in your one repository. We have an internal tool, Luti, 
capable of automatically creating, testing, tracking, and updating WAPT package to the WAPT store for verified and secure packages. We will find an article dedicated to this tool in our website, Tranquil IT, in the blog section. If you need, you can also create your own packages by clicking on Make Package Template. And you can uh, have the possibility to import an MSI or an XE. Just here, like that. And edit manually the package. You can uh, develop your script packages or company specific uh, software packages if you want in this uh, in this course. You can make a group of software that can be deployed on into a number of workstations, saving you from having to upload the same software individually. For example, if you uh, want to have uh, ev everyone in your communication department to have um, 7-zip, Firefox, etc., you simply create a bundle package associated with your communication group in your Active Directory and then deploy uh, in, into your fleet of, um, of computer for your communication group. To deploy, uh, you came back to the inventory tab. You click on a machine or in organization unit. And then you drag and drop a package, just like that. You install and click uh, on save, and the installation will be done when the sh machine is shut down. It's also possible to propose the update to the user. Another possibility to deploy a software is the set service. What it does, uh, it allows system admins to create rules that give a uh, user access to download their own software that uh, you have permitted uh, in the console, uh, in, the, in this part, you create uh, some, uh, some rules just here. For example, if I don't uh, want my colleague calling me, asking me to download 7-zip uh, for them, I can simply create a self-service packages that can give that person or a group access to download uh, the software from the computer uh, uh, using their self-service application just la like that. Moving forward is the um, Windows Update tab, uh, similar to WSUS. With our Windows updates, we are able to choose which updates are allowed or permitted on your fleet saving you a bandwidth as well. It will only download the necessary updates that are needed for machines, saving disk space. Uh, we download the KB on the website of Microsoft and we install only the updates allowed by a rule in this tab. Just here you um, allowed or forbidden uh, some Windows update. You can also create a package if you want. Uh, we have uh, our reporting features. We get just access to information like uh, OS systems in my port, number of OS in my port, etc. And uh, it allows us to export this information into an exe, an exe file to create a more visual fleet of your port if you want. In this tab, you can also create uh, your own queries through uh, SQL queries. If you have a um, several agency in your company, you can create a secondary repository to save bandwidth. Uh, you then determine uh, with rules according to the to the domain, uh, the site of the agent to which um, repos repository he must go. With Swapt, it's uh, possible to deploy Windows images to install the OS of a new machine. For this, you choose an image 
uh, you choose a configuration and ISO and you can launch the installation the installations of Windows. For more information on these features, we have a dedicated video on the subjects on our YouTube channel. To continue, if you are more than one user in using the web console, you can assign, assign different rights to each user. For instance, one person can only have the right to create packages or to have access to one unit organization London. So demonstration is now finished. Thank you for watching this video. Here are the main features of Web Enterprise. If you want to try our software, you can make a request in our website, tranquilo.it. You can also ask your question in the comments. See you soon.